Hey everyone, welcome back to the Junior Moneymakers Podcast, the show where I help you teach your kids how to become young entrepreneurs that can start and grow their own business. Well, all the warm weather I was bragging about last week has come and gone here. And where I live, that means that for the next eight months or so, not only will it be cold outside, but it's also going to be wet. Honestly though, I'm not even mad because in just 22 days, I'm going to be on an airplane with my family headed to Orlando, Florida. Even more exciting than that is in just 38 days, we're going to be headed to Tennessee to be on the Dave Ramsey Show. The whole idea of flying all the way to Tennessee to be on the Dave Ramsey Show is really blowing our minds. And honestly, it's kind of hard to believe that this is real at all. Hopefully you're clearing your calendar for the 1st of December though. It's really going to mean a lot to my family and I if you guys are at home tuning in to support us. Okay, let's talk about today's episode. This week, my wife and I had a two-day Christmas event. And so now I know you're thinking, Mr. Mark, you're crazy. Christmas is months away and it isn't even Halloween yet. And that's true. Well, kind of. Christmas is exactly 62 days away and counting. And at our house, we like to get ready early. So... To piggyback off last week's episode, I wanted to set you up for success with an episode focused on making money for Christmas. All right, let's talk about handmade ornaments. For almost 10 years now, my family and I have run a program called Christmas Trees for Troops. Our program is dedicated to bringing Christmas cheer to wounded warriors receiving treatment at the Lonstel Regional Medical Center in Germany. Every year we decorate the hospital hallways, decorate doors, and put hand-decorated mini Christmas trees in every room. The trees are decorated by local children using ornaments sent to us from all over the world. The one big requirement that we have is that all of the ornaments must be handmade. You see, handmade ornaments are much more special than anything you're going to get off the shelf. Handmade ornaments have their own unique style, flair, and they give an exclusive, authentic feel that many people are willing to pay for. Handmade ornaments range from painted glass balls to shotgun shells decorated as Santa Claus. Literally everything else in between. One of my favorite ornaments I've ever received was a small walnut shell decorated to look like a tiny mouse's bed. It even had a small mouse and a super tiny rubber band tail. It was really adorable. And this is coming from a guy that literally hates mice. Well, except Mickey. He's cool. So, if you have an artistic flair, you can definitely make some money selling handmade ornaments this year. So the question is, how do we get started? As always, first, you have to have your parents' permission and you have to make sure you're in compliance with all laws, regulations, and that you have the proper amount of insurance. Right now, we're going to focus only on Christmas ornaments. I'll release a few more episodes this season on how to make money selling other things at Christmas, but right now, a great place to start is on Pinterest. The place where you can learn to make things using what you have lying around the house, but only after a short and expensive trip to Hobby Lobby, of course. Now, I have a link to a Pinterest search I'll drop in the show notes for you, but for now, get the Pinterest search going and start scrolling. Find a few designs you can't resist, things that you would buy things you think your friends, family, neighbors, and other people might buy. Send photos of a few different ideas to your friends and their families. Ultimately, you're looking for feedback on which ideas are going to work best for you. Once you have some ideas of what you might want to sell, go out and hit all the places people shop. Hit up Etsy, eBay, etc. Search for handmade ornaments and try and narrow your search down to items similar to what you're thinking about selling. Quick tip. Remember last week when I told you to collect up all the pine cones and pine needles? You can turn those pine cones into ornaments. Believe it or not, they go for about $15 for 20 pine cones. That's right, $15 for 20 pine cones. Holy cow, sign me up for that. Now, use your internet searches to get an idea of what is out there and ultimately to decide what you want to make and sell. After that, you're going to have to decide where you're going to sell. Are you going to make a limited supply to sell only to friends and family? It's a nice idea, but your potential for growth will be pretty limited. You can sell online at places like eBay, Etsy, and even Amazon, but keep in mind that they do keep a portion of your profits, which can be pretty demoralizing, especially when you're young. 
The big point with these sites is that you can reach a broader audience, which means that while you might not make as much per ornament or set, you should be able to make up for it with more sales. Lastly, and don't breeze over this one, you can sell at craft fairs. You score big time if you can figure out how to sell at local Christmas markets or arts and craft shows. I'll link to a few sites that map out all the crafts fairs in your area. If you play your cards right, these fairs just might be where you make the bulk of your income this holiday season. Okay, so now we've covered how to figure out what to make and sell, how to price, and where to sell. Now let's drop three quick tips to help you rock this one. Tip one, play up the fact that you're a kid. Honestly, if you go with Etsy or eBay, I would seriously play up the fact that you're a kid. As much as you push the quality and design of your product, I would push that you're a kid raising money for a goal. If your family is comfortable posting photos of you making ornaments, go for it. Your story may very well sell more ornaments than anything else. Two, go live. Utilize social media. My kids don't have access to social media and kids in your family might not either. You don't need it. What you can do is go live on your parents' social media if they'll allow it. Use Instagram stories to chronicle your business from start to finish. Use Facebook videos to tour your workspace, watch you building, etc. Always end each video with, I am taking pre-orders, and I think you'll be surprised what kind of reaction you get. Tip three, pick something you love and that speaks to you. When you talk about something you love, you light up. When you gush about how adorable, cute, fun, etc. your products are, People will find that contagious and they're going to want to own it simply because you love it so much. They're going to want to hold some of what you have. Bonus tip. Every year at Christmas, businesses give gifts to their clients and their employees. If you're very brave, you and your parents should call a few different small businesses. 10 employees or less and ask if they're doing gifts this season. Bring some of your designs and be ready to offer them a deal on some gifts for their employees. Another great place to go is gift basket designers and other corporate gifters in your area. Use business listings in your area like the Yellow Pages, if those are even still a thing, and reach out to them. It's best if you already have a design and a brand. Okay, so there you have it. A quick guide to selling handmade ornaments this Christmas season. Now, I know that was a really quick breakdown, but that should at least get you thinking. If you need more advice or ideas, send me an email and I'll definitely get back to you for sure. Christmas is a special time at our house. We love the lights, the decorations, but most of all, we love the reason for the season. Jesus Christ calls us to be the light of the world and I believe that spreading that message during the holiday season is one of our family's greatest joys. I hope you're able to put some of these ideas to good use and don't forget, check out today's show notes page at juniormoneymakers.com 32 for links to ornament ideas, eBay searches, and Etsy stores. Also, while you're there, don't forget to sign up for my mailing list right on the front page. I can't wait to hear from you. I'll have another episode out in a few days, which will wrap up our series on optimizing, outsourcing, and now automating. But until then, remember to dream big and change the world. The views expressed on this program in no way represent the views of the United States Air Force, the Department of Defense, or the United States government and are solely those of the host and their guest. Additionally, the ideas in this program should only be tried after ensuring compliance with all laws and regulations and then only with parents' permission. Finally, while we believe in every idea we present, we cannot guarantee your results as all individual results will vary. What do you get when you drop a pumpkin? Squash.